Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. With humble heart we say, I confess, I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my, my brothers and sisters, sisters that you have, have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, who place your people under the singular protection of your Son's most holy mother, grant that all who invoke the Blessed Virgin of Guadalupe may seek with ever more lively faith the progress of peoples in the ways of justice and of peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the midst of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion. See, I am coming to dwell among you, says the Lord. 
Many nations shall join themselves to the Lord on that day, and they shall be his people, and he will dwell among you. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. The Lord will possess Judah as his portion in the Holy Land, and he will again choose Jerusalem. Silence all mankind in the presence of the Lord, for he steers forth from his holy dwelling. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are the highest honor of our race. You are the highest honor of our race. Blessed are you, daughter, by the Most High, above all the women on earth. And blessed be the Lord God, the Creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. Your deed of hope will never be forgotten by those who tell of the might of God. You are the highest honor of our race. Please stand. Blessed are you, O Holy Virgin Mary, deserving of all praise. From you rose the Son of Justice, Christ our God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her and said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her whole age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. My dear brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We are now in the halfway or more than halfway in our Advent journey. And today, we are blessed, my dear brothers and sisters, to celebrate the Feast 
of Our Lady of Guadalupe, it is our honor to have this celebration because she is our patroness too. Pope Pius XI in 1935 declared to us as a patroness of the Americas in the Philippines. This day, my dear brothers and sisters, we recall the apparitions of Mary at the hill of Tepeyac from December 9 to 12, year 1531, to the native convert named Juan Diego. Based from the sources, the apparitions happened when Juan Diego heard someone calling him from the very top of the hill. He went up to the hill and caught the sight of a lady of an earthly grandeur whose clothing as a regent as the sun. The words that Juan Diego received from Our Lady, I am the ever virgin mother, Mary mother of true God, through whom all things live. It is my ardent desire that a church be erected here so that in it I can show and bestow my love, compassion, help, and protection. Juan Diego commanded to do a report to the bishop. When Juan Diego arrived in the presence of the bishop, unfortunately, the bishop ignored the message. Then Juan Diego returned to the hilltop where the heavenly lady was waiting. He said to her, My lady, my maiden, I presented your message to the bishop, but it seems that he did not think it was the truth. For this reason, I beg you, you to entrust your message to someone more than illust illustrious who might convey it in order that we may believe it. For I am only a significant man. She answered him, humblest son, I ask that tomorrow you go again to see the bishop and tell him that I, the ever virgin Holy Mary, Mother of God, I am the one who personally sent you. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a wonderful exchange of Our Lady and Juan Diego, conveying her message proclaiming her very mission to bring her son to us. She is a very good example to embrace Jesus and ready to share to others. In our gospel today, as we heard the annunciation of the angel Gabriel telling us the great love of God through Mary, sharing his true love for all of us. In this annunciation of Angel Gabriel to Mary, mother, brothers, and sisters, is a proclamation of our salvation through the obedience of Mary. Therefore, Mary, for us, mother, brothers, and sisters, is an essential figure for all of us. As we Filipinos, Mary, has a special place in our hearts. We value her role in our salvation. It is indeed in our faith. Our Mother Mary is always watching us. Through her maternal care, we are all encourages us to open our hearts for being full aware that we have an obligation and responsibility to contribute with generosity, to serve with love, to proclaim the good news with courage and conviction. My dear brothers and sisters, Mama's Mar Mama Mary's will is always to do God's will, to bring Jesus to the heart and every soul. And this is the appeal for all of us today. Always remember that we are always 
the messenger and the ambassador of God's will in our own way every day that God entrusted to us. Through the intercession of Our Lady of Guadalupe, Mother, brothers, and sisters, we are all worthy to do and to show what is pleasing to God in our every action and decisions. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us all. Pray for us always that we may come or to carry Jesus, your Son, in every situation in our life. And this is our prayer for today. Amen. Please stand. Okay. My dear brothers and sisters, in prayer, we approach God, the Father, who has the power and authority over all things, and then unload the burden that weighs us down. And every petition we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who exercise authority in the church may be filled with gentleness, humility, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are in authority may be guided in making decisions by wisdom based on love, justice, and truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That parents may, by their authority in the home, Seek more to love and be loved than to create an atmosphere of repression and fear. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may find healing and consolation through God's word and the sacraments. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may be brought safely home in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. Heavenly Father, we rejoice in your abundant love for us. Establish your authority within us and be our companion on the road of life. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we present to you on this feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, and grant that this sacrifice may strengthen us to fulfill your commandments as true children of the Virgin Mary, 
to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Guadalupe. To proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to the earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you give us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May your voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice in once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which you poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that the devil is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, may be guarded to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Guadalupe, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints you have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the skull to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the, the word, word, and my, my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ. Please stand.
Let us pray. Lord God, may the body and blood of your Son, which we receive in the sacrament, reconcile us always in your love. And we who rejoice in our Lady of Guadalupe live united at the peace in this world until the day of the Lord dawns in glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.